Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a get ready with me. I know it's the same thing I film every single time. Um, and we'll talk about that more in this video, but I had to get something up this week. Like, I didn't know what else to do. I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna film a get ready with me. I have lots of things I have to tell you guys about. I have to update you about a lot of my life stuff. Uh, so I thought I'll catch up with you here because I haven't filmed a video in a week now after the Halloween one. Uh, so I thought why not do like a relaxed again video um, and I'm going to review the Huda Beauty nude palette so basically this is the PR package okay and the eyeshadow is here which I'll show you in a minute and it comes with three brushes and a silk robe inside I asked you guys if you want to see this 90% of you said yes on Instagram so I thought why not film it it comes with a really nice silk robe as well which will be good for me for my vacation it also comes with this beautiful hairnet that she's wearing after doing her look so we'll try one of this as well okay guys I'm gonna begin with the pack light full moisture if you're looking for a good moisturizer this is a really really good one I will have it linked down below um, it's a very nice moisturizer it's a good size as well it's travel friendly it's not glass whatsoever so this is absolutely amazing I love how it smells I love how it feels it is good for all skin types I believe I absolutely love this moisturizer very good for before applying makeup especially okay I'm gonna stick to using my Smashbox for a finished primer uh, on my pores I have to get my cleanup done it's been a while now since I've got my cleanup there's just so much happening and I haven't been able to go that's why my skin is looking a little rough like my skin can tell when it needs a little cleaning you know for foundation, I'm going to use the LA Girl foundations. I'm going to use the Pro Matte and the Illuminating foundation uh, because I like to mix my foundations. I think they give a very nice flawless finish. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit, just like one pump each. Uh, in the matte one, I'm in the shade Medium Beige and for the Illuminating, I'm in the shade Nude Beige. Okay, so let's begin talking. I'm really sorry for uh, repeating my content a lot. I get it I read your comments and I understand it um, <clears throat> trust me guys like I've taken such a long time to film again because I'm just like what do I film sometimes you get into that rut there are some things that just I can't do as of now um, considering the space I'm in and I like to film in my own home I feel like going anywhere else or like renting out a studio and all I'm not gonna feel comfortable you know I don't know I just feel like I'm so comfortable and sorted where I'm at, like my filming setup for now at least. It's not my most favorite, absolutely not. My dream setup is totally different, guys. And uh, yeah, I hopefully my setup will be different next year. I really want to build up on my tech and improve my setup. This is really not my dream setup, just one ring light. Um, but yeah so I'm just very very confused as to what to film so I've just had moments where I've just laid down on my bed like yesterday I was just laying down looking into the ceiling and just thinking of what could I do man that could um, you know excite them more that would make them watch uh, my videos because I know you guys love watching my vlogs you guys are so in love with my vlogs but I really can't do daily vlogs that's something that I just can't do vlogs only Jake edits because he's just I can't trust anyone else with my footage so um and when a vlog comes out I want it to be like a destination vlog you know I want it to be like a good trip vlog otherwise Honestly, in my day-to-day, -day, I just work, go to the gym, come home. There's, it's really not exciting. <laughs> I like the Huda Beauty Concealer and I could have used it today. But I feel like um, it really gets thick under my eye and my you know, under eye wrinkles are emphasized if I go ham. And I tend to put on a little more concealer as usual um, than usual. So I feel like I don't want to go that heavy. So I'm going to stick to my LA Girl. This is such a thin consistency, no matter how much you put, it's going to blend in and it's going to look really nice and sorted. So I have been loving my LA Girl. I haven't found a good concealer like in the drugstore here in India as well, at least. A few other video ideas you guys want to see uh, is my love story with Akhil. Like you guys want to see how he started dating and the problems that came and how we solved it i have read all of those and i know you guys want to see a video with akhil i've been waiting to film with him but he's been so busy lately guys i haven't had time to see him even so it can get really really difficult to film with another person because you're depending on their timings and their schedule uh, but i will try my best to get him on board 
if it doesn't happen then I'll just film it on my own from my point of view and how I saw meeting him and stuff I can do like a Sunday 30 minute video just on that and you don't have to let me know I know you guys want to see it so I'm gonna do that anyway okay to set my under I'm gonna take the Maybelline fit me loose powder this is in the shade light medium it's a brilliant 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 loose powder guys it is so flawless it is so beautiful it is just it's a very thick powder it's not very finely mill like the Colourpop one or the which other powder like the pack Patrick star powder it's not like that it is quite thick so you have to make sure you're using less but really man it is such a good powder good for baking it really hides those dark circles as well you know can you see it's sort of such a beautiful powder guys I absolutely am on board with this powder alright before we move on to chatting a little more I'm gonna just talk to you about the Huda Beauty palette this video is not sponsored by Huda Beauty they just sent me PR which I'm so thankful for so thank you Huda Beauty if you're watching this I am so grateful whenever I see a Huda Beauty package at my door I'm just like am I worth this like because it's still so like crazy to me but yeah this is the new nude palette by Huda Beauty it looks beautiful now I saw the video where she did a look as well the colors are stunning it's not your typical brown nudes you know when you think of a nude palette you think of browns and stuff this is her version of nude and she says nude has changed completely in the market it's become different like how we say peachy nudes purple nudes um, we just put nude behind any color and it just becomes our version of nude so I think this is her version of nude and she's got some amazing glitters and just beautiful stuff it comes with three brushes uh, in the PR kit uh, which I'm going to use in this video uh, yeah so let's jump in really quickly that is pigmented it's got like a pinky rosy undertone so two weeks back Akhil was admitted to the hospital um, he had viral fever and it was really really bad guys it was so bad Brian Little. <laughs> So this happened to him year before last as well, the same thing, he was admitted to the hospital and he gets really weak, you know, and we have to give him the drips and stuff. So um, I was there for the weekend and um, that was something that happened and I had to fill you guys on because you all saw my Insta story but you all didn't get what was happening. So he had viral fever and he got discharged in like 3-4 days I think and uh, he's just been recovering ever since and because I was constantly there and I stayed over, I took care of him. I got a little like I fell a little ill it was just a rough couple of weeks I was sneezing and it was cold and I developed a passing fever I was like I hope I'm not getting viral because injections and doctors and listen I can't like I see the sight of a hospital and makes me want to throw up I don't know how I stayed in that hospital with him I mean I would do anything for him and anyone that I love uh, but it's just like there is anyone like that I'm like petrified of hospital like I get numb completely pale when I see an injection or a syringe or like the drips IV drips and I I don't know what's gonna happen but I'm just like terrified okay but um yeah gladly nothing happened so I was really happy about that but it took a while for both of us to recover fully and him especially so um just giving you a little update on that part So I'm going to place this shade on the outer corner and just drag it a little bit into the crease. They're so pigmented and they blend beautifully. Like I'm not even putting any effort and it's just blending. I can't wait for this palette to come to India, man. This is so nice. I think it's going to be everyone's go-to palette. This, these colors are so nice and flattering to the eyes. I'm going to flip the brush and I'm just going to blend it. This is the clean side of the brush. I like brushes like this. I don't have to reach out for other brushes and I can just do everything with this I'm taking a little bit of spanked now from the palette it's more of on the magenta purple side and I'm just putting it on the same places just intensifying it a little more do you guys like this or do you guys like to be zoomed in on the eye when I'm doing it let me know in the comment section like is this I know I'm very close to your screen right now but I think I find it very nice when YouTubers zoom in so much and they do the eye because you can see what they're doing then. Okay, so I'm going to cut my crease now using the concealer that comes in the palette and with the Fender 
uh, Fender Blender brush. Uh, you get these things, right? Which comes with small drugstore palettes. Like you see these things. So I'm gonna use that to cut my crease and then I'm gonna add the glitter. This is a great idea actually, having a concealer for cut creases. That's like perfect. It's not that bad. Actually, I like it with this silicone side better. Silicone side, I'm hoping this is made with silicone, but... My concealer is down. I don't think this is my most preferred way to apply the concealer. I would rather use like my regular concealer brush. Okay, but for glitter now, let's see what I could go for. Oh my god, there's like so many colors I could go for. Oh, these are so soft. Wow. Crave. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. Oh my god. Guys, the finish is like so so good okay so these two are glitters and these are like more pressed um wet glitter wow what the hell just gonna take it on this and apply it in the inner corner whoa Wow. Wait, that is beautiful. Oh, honey, that is gorgeous. Oh my God, I want to use it all. I think I'm going to go over top with Crave because uh, I just want to use it all. Full girl. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I mushed the two colors, which is fantasy and crave, and this is what you get. Um, I'm just gonna blend the eyeshadows now. I'm gonna go back with the same brush, which is the um, build and blend brush. I'm gonna take Love Bite right here. Okay guys, sorry, I got so caught up with my makeup that I forgot to talk to you guys more. Okay, so the next thing, I'm gonna zoom you out a bit because this is too close. Okay, next thing I wanna talk to you guys about is that I got a new phone. Look, it's the iPhone XR. Uh, this is, was very sweetly gifted to me by Falguni and Shane Peacock. What a beautiful gift. Um, and I'm so grateful again. Like I got a new iPhone, man. And I was so completely in shock. I was like, this is so... This is so cool. I, I didn't have words. I don't have words, okay? Because someone gifting me a new iPhone. I'm an iPhone girl, okay? And the camera is beautiful. The phone is stunning. It's so nice, guys. Um, I did a shoot with them. And whoever got whichever gown, I did a shoot for their Peacock magazine. So I wore the coral gown. So I got the coral phone. Um, so someone did a black gown. They got a black phone. So it comes in six colors. And it had just just launched. And they gave it to us. So i um, very, very thankful for that. I'm going to Thailand again. I'm going to get you guys another vlog and come back. I'm going for eight nights and uh, this is my birthday gift to my mom uh, she really wants she really wanted to go for a vacation for a while now and I have been planning this I was like you know I'm gonna take her this year in 2018 I'm gonna do a mother-daughter trip because we have never gone like mother-daughter you know what I mean so this is our first mother-daughter trip to Bangkok and she loves Bangkok okay she loves the fruits there she knows Bangkok completely um, she used to vacation there a lot and I was like, you know what, let's just do only mother-daughter. Like nobody else, just us and we can enjoy so much. So I have a lot of fun with my mom. I have a really, really amazing relationship with my mother and uh, we're just like friends. So we're going to have so much fun on the trip. I cannot wait. I'm going to put it up on stories and you're going to see a vlog because I cannot not vlog my first mother-daughter trip. So stay tuned for that because that's going to be awesome sauce. So I had to update you on that. And I'm also going to Chandigarh very soon. You guys will know. I'm going with a beauty brand. Again, it's a brand trip. Um, all the details will come soon on my Insta story. So stay tuned. If you're not following me, please follow me on Instagram. Uh, you guys will be updated entirely about my life basically. Because I put everything on there. And I want you guys to be updated, you know, with my life. I'm going to put the same colors on my lower lash line. I'm taking Secret Raw and spanked and I'm just going to fluff it down.
I'm just connecting this to my upper lash line. All right, guys. So that is it for this palette for now. We're gonna move on to the rest of the face, and I want to talk to you guys. Yeah, I'm getting so engrossed with my makeup. Mm, okay, so let's do lashes and mascara. I'm gonna take the Milani trifecta, and I'm just going to plump up my lashes before I move on to falsies. Thank you guys so much for your love on my skull look, my Halloween bride, my Bohemian modern bride look. Um, I just got inspiration from Dress Your Face, Tamanna Roshan, I believe her name is. I just saw her on Instagram on my feed one day and I'm like, girl, because I wasn't getting any Halloween vibes. And I'm usually the one who's like prepped for Halloween. I put out three, four looks and this year I put out only one because I wasn't feeling it, yeah. And if you don't feel it, I can't force it, guys. I really can't. So... I was really hoping that I get inspiration. I was going through all my feed and tagging, like looking for tags like Halloween, Halloween makeup and the same thing was coming up and then I saw Tamanna's post and I was like, I just got this rush in my body, like this creative thing and I'm like, oh my God, this look is something I have to recreate or put my own touch to it. And I gave her credit everywhere, guys. It's not my idea and some of you still think like, oh my God, you copied her. I mean, I mean, it's not copied. It's like getting inspiration, right? I give her credits everywhere. Where credit is due, credit is due, boss. And she was the one who gave me inspiration. And I discovered her through that picture. So uh, thank you for all the love. It was such a, such a great, great post and great video. And just thank you so much for that. Uh, I created one look, but at least I created one banging look um, for this year. So I'm happy about that. Okay, uh, let's move on to face and then I'll put on lashes later. Oh, I didn't even do my brows. Oi, ma. I'm taking the Lakme and KKK collection in Espresso. Okay, guys, so for my bronze, I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Contour Palette. This is in the shade Light to Medium. If you have any other recommendations for blushes and bronzers and highlighters from the drugstore, hit me up down below because I, do, I think the Indian drugstore brands are becoming really like boring. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm not discovering new bronzers and blushes. I'm not excited to order drugstore products because I'm just looking at it and I'm like, this is not exciting me. Eyeshadow palette. There's not even one eyeshadow palette that is new in the market and that I'm obsessed about which is drugstore and affordable to you guys. So I feel like I understand that you guys want to see drugstore products, but I'm just like, I, I, I don't know where they are. So if you have some amazing drugstore recommendations, leave it down below genuinely and I will check them out because I've been using this drugstore bronzer, which I love so much for so long right now. And I know you guys are bored, but I'm like, listen, trust me, me too. There's no new discovery over here, at least in India. I feel like there's so many new drugstore brands there, like abroad, and they just come out with uh, different products every single time. And that's why I get so excited to order uh, from there. Even though I want you guys to have some good, inexpensive, amazing drugstore products, very rarely do they come out with new launches. Like this launch has been amazing, the Master Contour one, and it's been, I think, a while for this launch it's been a year since this is launched so i feel like where is the next bronzer where is the next blush you know i'm just waiting for good discoveries to come um good new launches to come to india but it's a slow process i don't know yeah guys so if you have any other brand but i'm not going to buy brands like blue heavens and all i listen i i'm all for inexpensive makeup but i'm not going to put up something for 60 rupees and all it's just something that i don't do guys and i'd rather be frank with you guys you know uh i don't want to put that inexpensive of a product on my face because i don't think there's a reason why it's that inexpensive because they're using cheap uh ingredients in the product that like that's why it's so inexpensive right and i don't want to go down that route so anything that you guys think is affordable i'm looking for a nice bronzer you know drugstore contour and bronzer but i'm not able to find one and when it comes to eyeshadow palettes don't even get me there girl there ain't none okay there's nothing zero eyeshadow palettes in the drugstore
Okay, put on some Huda Beauty lashes in Sasha. They're so dramatic. They're touching my brows almost. Uh, but what can you do? I thought for this eye, I think you need something more dramatic, right? So I'm gonna let them be for now. We're gonna move on to blush. I'm taking the NYX Sweet Cheeks palette. And I'm gonna stick to these shades. Like I'm gonna take more of the mauve shades because uh, it's gonna match my eye. Okay, for highlighter, I'm taking the Sofix palette and Makeup Revolution one and I'm taking the first top row. I'm gonna mix it all. For lipstick, I'm gonna go in with the Nykaa Ultra Matte Lipstick in Grace. I love this collection. It was so, so nice. I love the Ultra Matte, it looks fab. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Huda Beauty Demi Matte in Catwalk Killer, just a little bit on the center. Okay guys, so this is what I came up with. The lashes are too dramatic, but um, this palette is fab, guys. Oh my god, it's really nice. It's got more of the um, pinky nudes, to be honest. It's not one of those brownie nudes that you could you would typically think of, but I think it's a fab palette so far. I tried to use most of the glitters, one on top of the other, and they sit beautifully. They're not chunky. They don't have much fallout. I think they sit really nicely on the eyes. Very pigmented, blends beautifully, and Again, a hit for me. I also love the Rose Gold Remaster palette. It, I use that constantly. And so I think this palette was very well done by Huda. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I apologize for doing another Get Ready With Me. This has been like my 100th Get Ready With Me. But I just like sitting down and talking to you guys and catching y'all up on what's up with my life. If I see any other suggestions in the comment section down below, I will definitely work on that video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.